Clearly, this householder life, which is devoid of any sentiments towards God, which is devoid of religiosity, and which is godlessness. Yeah, godlessness. Uh, this type of householder life, which is centered around the bodily conception of, of life, asat grahat. Asat means that which is not real, that which uh, is temporary. So this material existence uh, is real in the sense that it is the creation of the Lord, but it is it is temporary, and when this material life is conducted devoid of any realization of God, opposed to the will of God, and that is called asat. Sat means that which is true or real, and asat is just the opposite of that. So asat grahat basically means to accept that which is unreal as real, to accept this body as the self, and to accept uh, one's family members as one's possessions. Uh, to accept the objects of this world as being objects merely for one's own exploitation and enjoyment. This is asap grahat. So, due to this type of conception of life, householder life becomes like andakupam. Andakupam means a blind well. And Shri has told this story many times about uh, the blind well. I can tell it in brief. <laughs> um, that one day a person was going through the forest or the jungle, and then suddenly a lion roared and began to pursue him. So out of fear he began to run, and of course uh, there's no possibility of escaping from a lion. So he thought to uh, run up a tree, but he was una unable to do so, and then he, he noticed a well which had been grown over by grass, and he thought, my only, ho my only hope is to uh, climb down the well. And there were some branches hanging from the tree, uh, so he, he took uh, support of those branches which were hanging down, and then he climbed down the well. So he got halfway down, and then he noticed that there were many snakes hissing at the bottom of the well. And by this time the lion had caught up and was uh, peering over the edge of the well and was roaring at him. So <clears throat> from both sides there was great danger and he was very fearful and he was hanging on to the branches for dear life and then he noticed that some rats were eating away at the branches. So a very precarious situation. <clears throat> And the rats, one was white, one was black. So, at that time, danger surrounding on all sides. Uh, from, from above, there was a swarm of bees in, in, in the tree. And that was also another danger. But <clears throat> they had a hive and there was some very sweet and pure delicious honey which was, began to fall in drops, one drop at a time, very slowly, from the beehive. And as it came down, it was coming just beside him, so he was able to uh, stretch out his tongue and catch the drops as they were falling. And as he caught them, he was thinking, oh, this is a very wonderful taste. So, <clears throat> this is uh, this material existence and Householder life, devoid of spirituality, devoid of God consciousness, is compared to such a blind well in which there is very, very uh, insignificant enjoyment. Everywhere they upside, inside, sides, everywhere, in eight corners. Everywhere they. So, death is surrounding on all sides. Rats are part of it. <laughs> the rats represent day and night. So every day, or at every moment, our life is being reduced. We are cutting branches of our mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. And the tiger is, or the lion is like uh, time, uh, which is death personified. And the snakes are like, what? 
What are the snakes compared to? Also, death. Death. So that is surrounding these various types of suffering. All family passions. Uh -huh. All making so much problems. All at a time. And sweet honey was coming among them who are beautiful, my wife and children and all these things. But also problem is coming from, may come from here. So, this is uh, the situation of materialistic household life. At any life. moment we can die. Right. So? So, Prahlad Maharaj, he is uh, explaining this to his father. And he is saying that what you have undergone, severe austerities to attain, because Hirani Kashipu performs such severe austerities that no one uh, before had been able to do. He was standing for a hundred celestial years on the tips of his toes with his arms extended high in the air and so much so he had attained such power that fire was emanating from his head uh, which was reaching to the heavenly planets and was actually perturbing the, uh, the devas, the demigods there and in the meantime an anthill had surrounded his body and the ants had eaten away his body so all, all that was left were the bones and the life air circulating within. So he, he had performed severe austerities more than any yogi, but only to obtain material enjoyments and um, to try to get material immortality. So Prahlad Maharaj, his five-year-old son, is saying that all your hard labor uh, has been in vain because your situation is just like this, is like this blind well. So, the best thing I have learned, and not from my teachers, but not from these teachers, but from my real teacher, uh, Nara Muni, is to give all this up and to go to the forest. Uh, forest means Sadhu Sangha, association of Sadhu. Now no forest language. <laughs> So, not just to go to any forest, but it means because especially in those times, the sadhus were taking shelter of the forest. So, go to the forest means that by going there you will meet the sadhus, the saintly persons, and you will hear instructions regarding uh, the Supreme Personality of God, Sri Krishna, and to take shelter of those sadhus and take shelter of the Supreme Lord. So this is how he responded to his father's inquiry. Mm. Okay. Then what his father did? And he at once took that his son and fell down. And what? Oh. And wanted to kill and murder. But it, and he began to rebuke his teachers. Shandavak. Shukra means, Shukra chat means, what? Controller of sediments. By this birth and death comes. How to take birth? He knows that. And if a man dies, he can sprinkle some water and at once he will be. Again, alive. And he can give birth to life and life first. He is Sukracharya. And his son Shanda Marka. <coughs> Shanda. Shanda means white balls. Always few years. Five few years. For any cow. Oh, they are previous to each other. Only. That he is taking my share, he is taking my share. Only. In world. We see Hitler, Mussolini, and all other, we are all family each other. For self gain. For nothing. So all are Santa Marka. Tato, Tato. We have not taught him to chant and to take side of Vishnu. We have never. So he is telling himself all these things. He told that are any Narada, any allied persons are coming and associating? 
Don't allow anyone to come to school. Never. And if they are coming, then uh, report to me and I will see. Anyone should not take seriously. You should teach him only Sham, Dham, Danta, Bhed. What is this? Or types of political policy. What? <coughs> Sham? Means to control others uh, with sweet words. Uh, Sham, Dham, by money? High salary or big position. Right? Yeah. Sham, Dham, Danta, punishment. And? Where? Creating uh, division. Divide and conquer. Uh, oh. This country is so well known for this. <laughs> they are ruled by this policy, whole world. But now they are not able to control Scotland, Ireland, Wales. <laughs> they all want to be independent. Here, all Rajniti, Rajniti, but it fell down. <coughs> it is not forever. What fell? Few words. But he wanted that, Sridhar Nikashpur, that I am making a king shall be so, uh, so expert in all these things. <coughs> so why not? They should learn charm, down, down, away, all these. Duplicity, what are? Diplomacy for a king, for a, a Raj Kumar, the prince, it is very essential. He wanted that my son should be expert in all these things. But Prahlad Raj has uh, read so many things, has taught so many things by Nagarishi. Now he has no, nothing to learn. But his Two teachers prayed, King, that place again we should have a chance. We want to trend this boy in your line. So please give us. Again kindly, King, get and one more opportunity. And for some months he tried to teach him same thing. Duplicity and all some dumb turned away. So that he, after me, he will be very strong king like me. But after some time, when he again called Prahlad Maharaj, his son, and very affectionately he took him in his lap and told, You have been given to school. I think that now you are learning something. So what is the essence of all teachings you have been learned? Please tell me in very brief. Then what Prahlad Maharaj told, Nami will explain. Don't uh, close your eyes. You should not be in trance. <laughs> Otherwise, Nidra Devi, sleepness, very beautiful lady. <laughs> she will attract you and then you will fall down <laughs> and nothing you can learn. So don't look. Be very smart. You are seeing that old person is standing there, how smart and looking you all. So, <laughs> you should be very small. Bansha Kalpatar Bhasa. He gave one hand that hands when this picture was made. Um, more than about 18. Krishna Hare, Krishna 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 Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So, Hiranakashipu, second time sent his affectionate son to school of Sanda and Amarka. Just now, we heard from Gurudev that Sanda means wild bull and... Don't repeat so much. 
Amarka means Arka means light, means sun, and higher there is no illumination of God. It is called Amarka. So when Hiranyakashipu called Rakishan again and asked him, O oh, Prahlad, now you spend so many days in school, please tell me or explain me in brief which you learn in your school. Prahlad Maharaj is so bold. He quoted one slogan, Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam Archanam Bandhanam Dasa Sakkamadvani Vedanam Not quoted. He told He told himself. Hmm. Not quoted from anyone. At he, that time Bhagavad was not. He not quoted. quoted from any scriptures. He told by himself. Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam Archanam Bandhanam Dasa Sakkhamadma Nivedanam Iti Pumsar Gita Vishnu Bhaktisthya Navalakhana Kriyad Bhagavata Bhatan Manya Ritavam Uditam Uttamam Oh my dear father, I think this is the best philosophy. What? Tan Manya Aditam Uttamam I think this is the best. What? Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu We have to hear about Vishnu. Here Vishnu means the Krishna and his all incarnation and Guru and Vaishnava who is related to Krishna or related to Vishnu. Savanam. At first, in first day we have to hear from qualified Vaishnava and Gurudev. If we not hear, if we have no Savan then we could not Kirtan. We are not able to do Kirtan. So at first, we have to savan, we have to do savan means we have to hear from Guru and Vaishnavas. Kirtanam Vishnu. And after that, when you are expert in savan, then you must do Kirtan. Savan Vishnu Smaranam. And you have to remember about Vishnu. That means so many pastimes of Vishnu. According to your stage, according to our stage, we have to remember the pastimes of Vishnu. For primary stage, we can remember about pastimes of Putana. How she kept liberation? Putana means put means pavitra, pure, na no, no means no. Who has no impurity? And put means son and no means now he has no son or no kids at all. So we are full of anarthas. So we are impure. Oh Krishna, oh Vishnu, you are so kind. You take out all his impurity. Please take my impurity also. I surrender myself in lotus feet. So you have to remember this kind of pastimes in primary stage. Padasevanam. Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam. Padasevan means Padaseva. We shall do Dham Parikrama and shall message Vaishnavan through the speech. It is called, and we shall do archan is Pada Seva. Archanam Bandhanam Dasa Sukhamadva Nivedanam. Archan, Archie of Vitis. Divi Varchi, we have to think, we are so unqualified. Gurudev is very near and dear to Krishna and Vishnu. He is worshipping. According to his order, I am helping him only. I am not worshipper, I am a helper only. This is the Vaishnava rule, Vaishnava etiquette. Vandanam. Vandanam means we have to do some prayer. When you are doing devotional activities, there is some chance of offenses, Nama Parad and Seva Parad. If you continue chanting Harinam, then Nama Parad will go away. But for Seva Parad, Nama Parad is ten types, and Seva Parad is so many, but among them thirty-two is prominent. 32 kinds are prominent. So if we do a disturb every day, then it will go away gradually. So we have to do bandana. And dasa sakha atma We have to think, we have to behave with Vishnu Krishna that he is our master, I am his servant. And sakha, friendly come with Krishna. Like Sridhar, Subal, Vasudha, Madhumangal, they are friendly to with Krishna. They never think 
that Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. If Krishna wants to say something, Siddhartha is telling, I am not inferior to you. Your father has nine lakhs cows. My father has eleven lakhs cows. So I am superior to you, not inferior to you. Subal Madhumangal, Ujjal, Jamsalati, making fun with Krishna. They never think that Krishna is superior to us and is supreme person the Godhead. If this kind of mood is there, the opulent mood, then you can make any friendship with God. So, we have not to imitate it. And the more we will chant and the more we will follow Guru and Vaishnavas, this mood will come automatically without any effort. Dasa Sakar Atmani Vedan. After that, we have to surrender ourselves. At first, we have to surrender ourselves to the lotus feet of Gurudev. At last, this Gurudev will help us and he will do to convey this surrender to Krishna. Atmani was two types. At first, we don't know what is our soul. We have no conception about our soul. So, we think that it is mind is soul, this body is soul, but it is not. So at first, which Guru will order us, we have to follow totally. After that, uh, Atmarit will come, then we can surrender our soul to the switch of Krishna. So Prabhupada is telling, Atma, Sovaram Kripalu Iti Pumsar Gita Vishnu. You have to surrender yourself, the lotus feet of Vishnu, at first. If you do so, then it will be bhakti, links of devotion. If not so, if you not surrender yourself, the lotus feet of Vishnu, and you are doing Savan Kirtan, it is not devotion properly. So we have to surrender ourselves, the lotus feet of Krishna, through Bonafide Gurudev. If we do so, then it will be devotion at that, then it is not devotion. Like I say, I want to give an example. There are so many qualified person here. If they want to take any job from government office anywhere, if he is learned, but if he has a certificate from any university like Cambridge, Oxford University, then they are allowed to enter their office and they are allowed to sit for computer examination. If not so, they will kick you out, they will allow that your application is perfect or not. <coughs> Similarly, we are chanting Mahamantra, but if we surrender the lotus feet of a bona fide Guru there and take his shelter, <coughs> then Krishna will grant us as a devotee, otherwise not. Because in Bhaktivata Kirtan we seen, we have seen that Saranga Saranavati Hai Vejahar Tahar Prathana Sune Sinanda Kumar, who have Saranavati, then his prayer will must grant by Nanda Kumar. So we have to surrender ourselves to the Lotus Feet of Bonafide Guru Dev. Someone can ask, who is Prabhupada Maharaj Guru? Narad Rishi is Guru Dev, when he was his mother womb, he learned everything. So, Narad Rishi teach everything about 60,000 years when he was in mother's womb and he learned everything. So Prabhupada Maharaj also teaching us and instruct us that if you want to be eternally happy in this world, you have to surrender yourselves, the lotus feet of Guru Dev, and then you can do bhajan, then you can get liberation sadhis of Krishna. Hare Krishna. Vanchakal Vataru Bhasta Kripasin Dupaya Vacha Padita Hanpavale Bho Vishnave Bho Namo Namaha. Prem Prayajan, can you explain more? Kiti pun sarkita vishnu bhakti shivan navalakkana kripa bhavati abdha tannan bhekna. This should explain more. Being there, how no need? Don't waste time. So good. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to this was Iti Pumsakta Vishnu, Bhaktis Chan Navalakshana, created by Vattada Tanmanye Dilam Uttamam. Prahlad Maharaj has described nine processes of bhakti, of devotional service. And he has said that one who has dedicated, 
who has surrendered his entire life uh, and has taken up the practice of this uh, nine types of bhakti, he is considered to be the most learned person. He has understood everything. Of the nine processes, the final process is Atmani Vedana, to surrender. But in the next verse, Iti Pum Sabhato Vishnu, Bhaktis Chen Navalakshana, Pulad Maharaj is saying one should surrender first. So this appears to be some contradiction. Don't surrender, like, offer anything before surrendering yourself. First yourself should be surrendered. And then do anything, then it will be bhakti. And you are thinking that I am not qualified, I am not surrendering myself, I will offer my some fruits to Krishna like Jatkaroshi Jadashmashi. Then it will be not pure bhakti. It will be some arupsita or mixture of all karma again. So we should not go towards that. Pralad Maharaj is Sukta Bhakta and that is why once that all should be pure devotee, not mixture. So there is a... Understand something? You should try to offer yourself. But Krishna is not there. You are not meeting with Krishna. So you should first surrender yourself in the lotus feet of second Vishnu, Ashraya Tattva Vishnu. Who is Ashraya? Ashraya Bhagavan. Shevak Bhagavan. That is servant God. Who is he? He is good. Shiksha Guru and Diksha So we should surrender how we are. Don't think that we are qualified, unqualified, what you are in that state. You should offer yourself. He will make you qualified. He will make, make you sincere. He will make you bona fide. You cannot be yourself by your own activity. You never, never and never you can be. So what you are, you should offer yourself in the lotus feet of your Guru Dev, that is Seva Bhagavan. And thus it will go to lotus feet of Krishna. Then you will be you will hear from him Samadam Kritanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam Archanam Bandanam Dasyam Sakham. And then by hearing by your Guru Dev, Sitya Guru Dev, everything will be qualified. And then you will know that who am I, my body, my senses, my atma, everything, and then you will do atma nivedha in the last. Okay. Then, what became? Oh, hearing the name of Vishnu, and hearing that he is not telling anything that I wanted of some dam, dam, the bed, all the duplicity and duplicacy <coughs> and politics, she is not telling anything. How he can, he will be a very qualified prince to become a very good emperor like myself? He will not be. So he became so furious. And Vishnu has killed his brother, so he was enemy of Vishnu. So he never liked to hear the name of Vishnu. And and he never liked that my son should be in the party of Vishnu. So he became very furious and was kicked and wanted to murder. He ordered all his all soldiers and the commanders, commander in chief, to Atansky, but they could not. Mad mad elephants were brought there to crush Prahla. Oh. They went and when they saw the smell of the smell of Prahlad Maharaj, at once they began like mad and roaring, they running, running yeah. and <coughs> trampling, trumpeting, trumpeting, that quickly ran off from there. <laughs> Some serpents were thrown off, but they quickly ran mm. But <coughs> opposite side. Why then they are given? No other. They were thrown to from the hills, mountains. Nothing but 
Krishna took him in his lap. He was thrown in the midst of endless ocean, but Krishna came like a boat and took him to side. And Prahlad Maharaj, weeping in praying and love and affection, how sweet you are, how you are serving me. So you should have strong faith to Krishna that he will surely save us and protect us from all kinds of problems. Don't care for this. Prahlad Maharaj has shown these things. Then he becomes so disturbed. What should I do? I think that I can control all world, I can put to death all, but I see, I'm seeing that death is coming through my son. This ignorant child, what should I do? He began to tremble and think. He could not do anything to this very little weak, five years old son. Then Sukrachar's son, Sandamarga, they suggested him not to be worried. My father is coming just now from his trance, from trance he will come soon, and he will make very soon any arrangement that he will, this boy will be in line very quickly. You should not worry for that. We will again taking him, and until our father comes, returns, and he should be sent in school, and we will always keep God that Narada or anyone cannot come here. Thus, he was satisfied and he told that all oh, you should take. Hmm. But then, he also told, who has trained these boys? I think that you have. Then bring my sword, and I will put it on your face, both. Shanda Marka, and they began to tremble. Hmm? Then he asked, who has told you? Hmm? To serve Krishna? Uh, Govinda Vaga, Naishamati, Stam, Urukramani, Shat, Anatta, Urukramani, Jadatta, Maisham Padraje, Vishetum. You uh, will explain. you should listen all these things and try to take, follow all these things. So the teachers of Pallad Maharaj Sanda Namaka, they asked how he had learnt um, so much about Bhakti. And Pallad Maharaj, he was hiding the fact that previously he had been within the womb of his mother, Kayadu, for some 60,000 years. He just said, oh, just naturally, spontaneously, I feel devotion in my heart towards the Supreme Lord. And he never really revealed the whole truth to them. But he was hiding this. So, when he was with his friends in school, so when he was with his friends in school, then, they were, they wanted to play you know, before that. So they were asking, they were asking okay, also... Okay. From where you have learned all from where, from where you have learned all this? They have not turned you? Well, and being so much, but less active, act, acting, and growth, anger. His face was, his face became very reddish. Eyes reddish like reddish reddish. And he was asking. Where? From where? Then he began to tell. Sandra Maka asked from where? Sandra Maka asked Where they are? So then he quoted. Then he, he Not to point it. Then he stated this verse. Naisham Matis Tabar Urukram. No, don't read that. Naisham Matis Tabar Urukram read like this. Right, oh. Yes, I don't know. Oh, yeah? 
So in English, I'll say, he said, unless what is smeared upon their bodies, the dust of the lotus feet of a Vaishnava. I want that you should let the uh, sing a lorry for sleeping boys. Oh, sleep, sleep. <laughs> So unless one has smeared on his body the dust of the lotus feet of an Iskinshan of Vaishnav, one who is completely free from all material contamination, then those who are very much inclined towards material sense gratification, they cannot become free. So only by becoming Christian conscious and I, taking... I want like that you should not see the book and type You should take the... Only by... Uh, essence of this is true. Only by becoming Krishna conscious and taking shelter of the lotus feet of such Niskinchana Vaishnavas. So, Niskinchana Vaishnav means one who is a Kinchana, Niskinchana. He has no material possessions, he has no material desires. He has no, he don't want. Not only does he not have. That is to that Kinchana, no. He never wants all these things. Like, Mm, what? Uh, 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 rock? Ashes. Ashes. Ashes have no value, so for this, no value. So just as um, one will see ashes, and for them it has no value, for, so for uh, this Kitchener, Bhakta, that all the wealth in the material world, it has absolutely no value. But the only possession is that... It seems like poison. So they have like that. Easily, like stool. So, these material possessions to them, they're just like poison, or as Maharaj has stated, just like stool. Later on, in this pastime, Pallad Maharaj, he also will manifest the symptoms of a discussion of Bhakta. When Nishingadev, Lord Nishingadev, he asked him, um, what benediction can I give you? And Pallad Maharaj, he refuses to accept any benediction because for him um, to become implicated in any way in um, material wealth, um, gain of any sort, that it is just like, as Maharaja said, it's just like stool. So, such Vaishnavas who, they do have a possession and that possession is that they have the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord. It is stated, Krishna say Toma, Krishna Dite Pa, Toma Sakati Ache, Amito Kangala, Krishna Krishna Boli Daita, Pache Pache. That one who is in this kitchen of Vaishnav, that they have Krishna, that they've got Krishna within their hearts, and that is their real possession. So, Prahlad Maharaj, he's telling Hirani Kashipu that unless one takes the dust from such a Vaishnav who has Krishna has, as his possession, and sees all of, all of the material possessions as being no more valuable than stool, then one cannot become free from material desires. Hearing this, what Harinikov put thought and told? So, oh, uh, foolish boy, you are telling that uh, uh, I have nothing like my, from my Gurudev and my Gurudev is bogus, foolish, and I have not learnt anything from him, and I am foolish, you are telling like this, oh, only you are so much intelligent. So, I have not cut a grass, 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 grass has whole life, my Gurudev is so, so much um, qualified in all these things. I have learned so many things that I have become Ajar Amar I have become. Immortal I have become. Do you know? For each, why you are uh, teaching me all these things? I know all things more than you. Hmm? So it's stupid you should be. Stop your telling. But Pranath Maharaj continued. Hmm? Why? Nate Vitu Swartha Gatim Vishnu Durasaya Ke Bhairatthamana Antha Jathandhai Rupan Iyamana Vachi Sasat Tantya Purutam Nipatta What is the meaning? Now they prabhu. At once, quickly. Dhamma Vikala Yama. 
Very quick. And he left that. A strong way. In the same way as Hiranyakashipu and Prahlad Maharaj are talking. <laughs> Prahlad Maharaj told that, Oh, I am not telling you and your guru they are foolish, but I am telling the truth. Andhada Khandai Yuhu Pandimana. What? So, <clears throat> He says that those who do not know that the ultimate goal of life is Vishnu and devotion unto Vishnu, they have accepted a different type of teacher and they are actually blind themselves. They do not know the goal, so they are blind and the teacher that they accept, have accepted is also blind. So if you have uh, a blind a group of blind people and they are also being led by another blind person then what do you expect the result will be? that they will simply all fall into the ditch and thus be misled so this is uh, the result of uh, accepting the guidance of persons who are actually in ignorance about the real goal of life Harinakashpur told that I have gone to my Guru Dev and thousand years I have attended his close and hearing his always sound on the bed and all controlling to know the ways how to control whole world and foolish you are telling me that you are blind I am not blind, you are blind Prahlad Maharaj told that I am not telling you, but I am telling the truth that those who don't follow Krishna or Vishnu, that don't serve, they don't chant, they don't have no devotional um, services to Vishnu, practically they are all blind. In this world, having eyes, very rare person. All are blind. Their gurus are also blind. The disciples are also blind both. And though, both like them, if anyone is taking the help of any blind person and he is himself blind, then what will be? They are going to see a match. They have no idea. Cricket match was going to be in France and England. <laughs> or Australian side. Caribbeans have reached here and very tug of war was going up and down. They were going to, they had no idea but they want to test. And in the midway, one has some lucky streak and other has, and this very strictly pursued, otherwise the play match will be finished. So we should quickly go. And there was a very big bad beat and both fell down. So those who had not eyes to see Krishna, to serve Krishna, chant Krishna, remember Krishna, they are all blind. So all the gurus are like these bogus gurus. They cannot, in a proper way, they cannot direct. Then Andha, Vedas, have two modis, interior and external, external to fire sacrifice, go made, arsha made and so many. Go made means cows offering and horses offering and so many things. But only to have swarga. And from there again they will come here. And again less than Less times, birth and day, suffering and sorrows. Nothing gain they have. So, to follow this is externally. So all the demons, they follow this idea. By Vedas, we should tell truth, 
we should practice these fire sacrifices and all these things. And they want only happiness in this world or outer of all in Swarga. But they are never satisfied and never happy. And those who have some inner eyes, they will see that, oh, Vedas has always telling Vedas are that you should uh, chant, remember, and go to Vashnu Sardish to Krishna. The Pushta Pratipat de Vishay, Deduka Pratipat de Vishay. Subject to be described in the Vedas. Vedas. Only Bhakti and Bhakti and Bhakti. Bhakti Ravainam can take anyone to Krishna. So, when he heard, again, again he became so more, 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 more fierce. That he is telling my Gurudev Sukhara that he is blind. If anyone is not blind, then you can tell him blind. He will not be furious. But if anyone is half Half blind. Half blind, are some blind. Then if anyone will tell, oh blind person, come on, that will be very famous. So his guru was one eye blinded, you know. Mm. Who did it? Baman Dev has. Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj. The Baman Maharaj, Baman Dev has done this. Mm. Those who will give any make any problem in Krishna service, in chanting and remembering, he will be blind. blind. To be blind by both eyes is better than be one blinded. Till some what see and some what not see. So he became so furious that, oh, he is uh, criticizing my Gurudev and also me that I am his disciple, so he again did. Then he told that who then who has taught him all these things? Tell frankly, otherwise I will kill you. Then he told, Naishamati stavat uru kramam. Naishamati stavat uru kramam din. Ishvishat jadar. Maniya san padar jo vishekam. Very good thing. Where is uh, what name? Uh, you can tell? Oh, what name? Tungi? Little Tungi? Can she say? Where is she? Sleeping? <laughs> what she is doing? Oh, I will punish you. <laughs> what is the meaning? Can you explain? No? Who oh, well. are you? can. Very pleasure. Nisha Amadis. Stavat Uru Kamani. Ispishata, Ispishat Anartu Apagamara. Mahi Yesha Mubhag Yoshi. Here, Pulat Maharaj is describing that, but he is not criticizing, but he is telling truth naturally. But he is becoming angry that he is thinking that he is criticizing and telling me and my Gurudev like blind persons. So, Hirani Kashipu, he wants to know from Pulag Maharaj, how have you come to be so devoted like this? So Pulag Maharaj is answering him here. And he said, Matirna Krishna Paratosa Sova Mitopi Padeta Grihabratanam Adanta Gopi Gopi Vishatam Tamishram Puna Puna Stavata Chavananam. That for those persons who are very dedicated, Grihabratanam, they have taken 
devouring their heart to dedicate themselves to material enjoyment and uh, godless household life, then those persons, their inclination towards Krishna can never be aroused, either by their own efforts, by the efforts of others, or by a combination of the two. Instead, those persons, they make very rapid progress in the direction of the darkest regions of hell. And they engage in madly chewing the chewed. Many, many lifetimes they have enjoyed sex, eating, sleeping, fighting, power, money, fame, and so many things in so many lifetimes. They have chewed these things already. And again they chew, and again they chew, and again they chew. Like this. So they waste their life. How will any auspiciousness come around for them? So for this, to explain this, Lord Maharaj has spoken this verse. My Samman is Tavad Parukramam Grim. That those who are averse to the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who have turned away from Him, their natural tendency is to enjoy the sense objects of this material world. They can, they, that tendency can never be changed. They cannot turn around and have natural devotion towards Krishna. They are not just the unwanted things within their hearts. They will never disappear. It is not possible. But one, one thing is possible. That their anatas, it will disappear if they can get the touch of something. What is that? They will have to take Abhishek, they'll have to take back, they'll have to smear upon their entire bodies the dust of the lotus feet of an Iskinchan Vaishnav. Only then will their aversion to Krishna and their attachment to the material world become completely transformed and turned about and natural and spontaneous devotion for the Supreme Lord will be awakened in their heart only by the touch of the dust of the lotus feet of a Niskinchen Vaishnava. Very good. And, oh, he was so much disturbed and became so much upset and furious. What to do? And what to do? He began to... Oh, yes, he began to... भगवान के 
के नामा भाषे के दूर हो जाएगा कि नहीं ये जो बात है शुद्ध नाम की जरूरत नहीं एक नामा भाष के द्वारा ही दूर हो सकता है और शुद्ध नाम हो और वैष्णव की हरी कथा हो तो सबसे बातचीत क्या इसलिए अजामी का देखो उसमें विष्णु को दुर्गो ने कहा तुमने जो पाप किया इसने जो पाप किया हम के ठीकेदारों ये क्या बोले लग गया भाई कपड़ा ठीक रहा है कौन है देखिए तो क्या कर रहा था अरे धर्म के ठीकेदारों तू कहता है इसने सब पाप किया तो तुमको पता नहीं ऐसा जगत में कोई भी पाप नहीं है जो भगवान का नाम ग्रहण करते और वो समूह को पाप दूर न हो जाए जरूर निश्चित रूप से हो जाएगा इसलिए इसने पाप तो किया था किंतु इसने अपने बेटे के नाम से स्मरण करके नारायण नाम किया नाम आवास हो इसलिए सब पाप दूर हो गए हैं कोई भी अब पाप नहीं है कितने इसका निर्माण हो गया है इसलिए तुम हम लोग इसको जन्म पूरी में नहीं दिखा इस बात का जिसको वैष्णव के सुनने से वैष्णव के मुख से सुनने से और इस भागवत की कथा में जिसको विश्वास नहीं है वो कैसा आदमी है बताओ तो वो वैष्णव के निकट और भागवत के निकट अपराधी हो जाएगा इसलिए इस चीज को समझो एक नाम के आभा से जितने भी पाप है वो सब तो दूर हो गए हैं इसको याद रखो फिर उसके लिए अनुताप करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं इस चीज को खोखल और नहीं होता है तो अब फिर वहां अपराध होता है उसकी बड़ी दुर्गति होगी और जो भगवान की ऐसी मधुर मधुर लीला कथा उसको सुन रहा है जो आजान से कोटि गुण कोई पमा नहीं और वो करो गुण ये लीला उनके यहां पाप भी आ सकता है और यदि नहीं फिर भी विश्वास नहीं होता है उसके समान नाराधम कोई जगत में नहीं फल देख रहे नहीं रहा जैसे वो अविष्ट होकर के ना करे उसका कोई पाप वो रह गया कि नहीं और मत क्या कोई भी कोई नहीं ठीक है जाकर के आवेश हो सकते और फिर संख्या में दो बिंद लो मार अब कृष्ण से रहा नहीं गया मैया की ओर से दूध पीते हुए उठ गए और देखा आंध्र में ओ गेहूं की राशि पड़ी हुई है गेहूं की राशि मैंने कहा ठीक हो बड़े जमींदार आदमी है ना इसलिए उसमें से हाथ से उठाया अढ़ाई वर्ष के कृष्ण उनकी हाथ कितनी बड़ी छोटी सी हाथ होगी और अभी नहीं जानते हैं कि हाथ ऐसे करने से सब गिर जाएगा बस ऐसे उठा गया और उसमें से सब गिर गया बस यहां पर थोड़ा सा यहां पर जोड़ रहे कहीं पर और मैया को छोड़ करके और घर में बैठी थी महिलाओं को छोड़ करके आवाज आ रही घर के बाहर में हल्दी रहने की तरफ में वो घर बैठने का इतना साहस नहीं था कि घर के अंदर में द्वार के अंदर में प्रवेश करे क्यों थोड़ी सी निम्न जाती उस समय इसलिए वो रहनी हल्दी रहनी घर के अंदर में प्रवेश नहीं करते दरवाजे पर ही टेक दे रही क्या कर रही है हल दो हल दो किस पर सुना रही तो सुना रही है कृष्ण को बच्चों को उठा रही है जो उनके मुंह पर लाल करके तो सब कुछ उसकी बात सुनकर के कृष्ण के मुख में लाल करके और वो लेकर के चले नंगे सोने की करज नहीं और सिर पर कैसा 
सिर्फ पर उनका चूड़ा बांध दिया गई है उसमें लगा दिया बोल पाओ कस्तूरी तिलकम कस्तूरी तिलकम कोई चीज नहीं कोई चीज 
बैठी के बैठी जा गई पालवीश उन्माद ग्रस्त हो गई शरीर रहा मन कृष्ण के पास थोड़ी देर के बाद में कोई आया उसे भी आया अरे पूजा पर क्या बैठी है थोड़ी देर बाद में उठी टोकरी को लिया सिर पर खाली है कि भर्ती है ज्ञान नहीं जब जमुना के किनारे लौट करके आई तो क्या किया अरे भाई क्यों है हमने तो सब हाल दे दिए और ये भाई क्यों देखा जैसे उतार करके देखा देखा क्या उसको कपड़ा हटाया उसमें मणि मांड किया ठीक है जवाहर भरे पड़ गए ऊपर से थोड़ा सा फल देने से कृष्ण क्या देते हैं सर्वस्व दे देते हैं हल की चिंता मत करो मां हरे सु कला इसने ऐसा सब कुछ में किया और क्या कृष्ण ने सब फलों का जितना है मूल्य सीधा जवाहर रात सब कुछ भर दिया ये तो ऊपर ही और भीतर से क्या किया हो क्या किया होगा ये सब उन मादनी कृष्ण गृह में और टोकरी को हरे हुए यमुना में फेंक दिया यमुना में चले गए और कहा गई कोई पता नहीं कहा गई होगी कृष्ण को लोग वृंदावन में ले गए होंगे यही जगत में रहने वाली मेरी कहीं यमुना में प्रवेश कर गया कहां कर गई कोई पता नहीं उन मां से नहीं जैसे गोप में हम मांग कर कृष्ण के दर्शन का यह है कुछ लोग आते हैं कि आज हमने कृष्ण का दर्शन किया दो वर्ष नहीं दर्शन किया छूट उनका दर्शन करने का बात तो देखो ये जो कृष्ण का दर्शन करेगा और कृष्ण की ये लीला कथाओं को सुना का वो घर लौटे का लौटेगी यदि लौट करके घर में हम जाते हैं तो ये क्या समझे है और जाकर के घर में लोगों से लड़ेंगे मामला में घटना करेंगे अपने माता पिता भाई पर और पति पर तो भजन हुआ समझो और फिर संसार के प्रति आसक्ति रह जाएगी निमज्जनतम सौ समय निमज्जनतम अक्खा अपने लोगों को ब्रजवासियों को इस प्रकार से ऐसी ऐसी मधुर लीलाओं में उसको भी समझ लो जब ब्रजवासी थी कोई संबंध नहीं तो भी देखो आज ये गोपियों को कृष्ण से संबंध है हमारे प्रियतम है ऐसा ज्ञान है उनको क्या करते हैं उन्हें कैसी कैसी चीजें उस समय ये छोटी छोटी गोपियां कहा थी कहा थी राधा विशाखा का भी उल्लेख नहीं उल्लेख कब से होगा जबकि गोवर्धन उठाएंगे तब से होगा इसके पहले अभी नहीं उससे उल्लेख होगा उस समय में उनमें पहले आएगा और मिलने से पहले पूर्व बड़ा उनका वर्णन करेंगे अभी ऐसे ही क्या उनका वर्णन कर रहे हैं अभी So in this third verse of the Devadasa, it is written, "Swagosham imaginatam akya biyantam." So what is the meaning of Goshen? Goshen. 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 No one is so dear to me as the bridge buses. At such pastimes, they're not possible to. Uh, it is not possible for such pastimes to take place anywhere, only in bread. And no one, also he's proclaiming, no one is so fortunate as Nanda Baba Yashoda Maya, Upananda, and his and wife and other bridge buses. Anak, what are you? So. Gurudev began to narrate that that once there was one fruit seller lady from Mathura, Palavikrini, and she had heard that Nanda Maharaj has one child, and this son is very very beautiful, 
And she'd heard so much about the beauty of the son of Nanda Maharaj. So she had some greed. A greed came in her heart to see him. So one day, she took her basket of fruits with many nice uh, yellow fruits and mangoes and grapes and bananas. And she put it on her head and she crossed over the Jamuna from Mathura and she came into Gokul. When she came there, she came in the vicinity of the house of Nanda Maharaj and she was moving around that area and calling out, Oh, please take fruits, take fruits, mangoes, you can take mangoes, bananas from me, very sweet and juicy, very tasteful. She was calling out like this. Why? Because if inside the house the children hear this, then they'll say to them, Oh, mother, mother, go ahead and bring me some fruits. So, but she'd come there to see Krishna. So, as she was thinking more, gradually, gradually, as she was thinking more and more about Krishna, then she forgot why she, why she, what she was saying. Oh, take fruits, take fruits. She began to say instead of follow, follow, oh, go win the law, go win the law, Krishna law. And she was calling out the name and she'd forgotten everything. We would then give the example we see here in Braj. The bridge basket they can take one a pot on their head, one pot, two pot, three pot, they're very expert. And even they don't have to use their hands to hold. So she was not holding the basket of fruits, only she forgot everything and chanting the name of Krishna. And she was very absorbed. But after wondering very long time, then her heart was broken. So, oh, Krishna, he won't give me his darshan today. And she became uh, very uh, sad and she left and she returned to her home. So then the next day she thought, now I will go there and if Krishna, he doesn't give me darshan, I'll give up my life. I won't come back. So Gurudev was using the phrase, do or die. She had this mood, this very strong determination. I must see Krishna at all costs. So the sadhak, he should be like this. He should be ready to abandon everything in order to attain his aim and objective. So, Srila Gurudev was saying, comparing the, the determination of the Father Grani to uh, devotees who come to the Dham, but how? Oh, with so much money in their pockets. And they don't uh, give donations and distribute to the Vaishnavas. And they're keeping all their money in their pocket and they're thinking, I will use this for my own uh, happiness, my own sense of gratification. And they come and then quite uh, duplicious. They're, so such persons, their um, character, it can never be uh, changed. They can never be rectified. Just like the tail of a dog. If you try it again and again and again, to make the tail of a dog straight. But then when you let go, immediately it springs back and becomes crooked again. So Gurudev is saying, we should not be like this. We should be like the fruit seller, coming to Vrindavan and ready to give up all our own personal considerations, all comforts and all aspirations for enjoyment. And try to abandon everything and come completely in the Anugatya, under the guidance of Guru and Vaishnavas. This is actually the fruit of hearing. So, Gurudev is mentioning the example given by Pujapad Srila Bhaktivedanta Trivikram Maharaj. He said that Sanatana Goswami, he left his home, his wealth, family and everything. And even when he'd given up everything, then he even also, there was one servant who was serving him. He even gave up his servant. And Bharat Maharaj, also the example of Bharat Maharaj is in Srimad Bhagavatam. Even in his young age, he left his uh, vast kingdom and vast wealth as if it was stool. So, we will have to give up everything and make a very strong vow like the fruit seller if we want that this Harikata will enter into our heart. Why? Because Harikata is no ordinary thing. This Harikata is the manifestation of the essence of Sambit Shakti and the Dini Shakti, transcendental potency. So only those who abandoning everything and being very determined uh, and giving up all duplicity, this Qatar, it will enter into their heart. 
not into the heart of everyone. So the Fatwik training, she had made a vow to do or die. And forgetting everything, she again came in the vicinity of the house of Nanda Maharaj. And she was crying, Hey Govinda, Hey Krishna. So Gurudev is mentioning, if one will be absorbed and leaving everything and chanting Krishna's name with tears coming from the eyes, then what will be the result of this? What will Krishna do? So there is the example of during the time of Ras Lila, when Krishna left the Ras, what did the gopis do? They assembled together on the back of Jamuna and they began to do kirtan. And that kirtan, the influence was such that Krishna was unable to check himself and he again appeared amongst them. So it's written in Purans also, Naham Tishtami Vaikunte, Yogi Nam Krishna is saying, I, where am I? You will not find me in Vaikuntha. You will not find me in the hearts of the yogis. Where will you find me? In that place when my devotees are doing kirtan. I must go there. So, Gurudev is saying, this is the uh, power of kirtan and the power of Harinam. There are so many very vicious and simple activities like abortion, killing the baby, unborn babies in the womb and uh, intoxication and so many varieties of simple activities. But all such very atrocious crimes, the reactions for these activities can be immediately washed away. By what? Only by Nama Bas. Only by the semblance of Hari Nam. The Nama Bas destroys all sins. There is no need. Uh, it is not necessary to chant Shura Nam to get rid of all of these things. The chanting of the pure name. Only the semblance of the name destroys all of these things. So Srila Gurudev was citing the example of Ajamil. When the Yamadutas they came to take Ajamil away, the Vishnu Dutas came and, and stopped the Yamadutas. So the Yamaduta said, this person is very sinful. He's performed all kinds of very atrocious activities. But the Vishnu Dutas said, no, he has no sinful reactions whatsoever. All of his sins have been cleansed away. Why? Because he gave his son the name Narayan. And again and again, he was <coughs> chanting and remembering his name, Narayan, Narayan, Narayan. So he became completely cleansed of all sinful activities. So, Srila Gurudev is also told, Brahma is also told, Tepus tapaste yudu shasnu rajya samhaam shirudam kirinam Those who are chanting name, all, they have then done all kinds of price chitta. No need of doing all this. They have done to all things, they have done all things. So, Shri Guru is mentioning it. Kapil Dev has told his mother, Aho Bhatta Swapata Togayan, that even those who are uh, in the very low caste and the dog eating caste, then if they chant the name of Krishna, then what is the result of that? It is to be considered that they don't have to do any other atonement, that they've visited all the holy places, that they have uh, performed all kinds of sadhana, bhajan, and all kinds of austerities, and that they've completed their studies of the Vedas. So this nam is extremely powerful. And Srila Gurudev is commenting that if this nam of us can destroy all kinds of sins, then what will be the result? of hearing this sweet harikatwa of Krishna's pastimes in Braj from the lips of a pure Vaishnava. What will be the result? It is quite incomparable. We cannot even compare the chanting of Namavas to hearing harikatwa, the sweet pastimes of Krishna, such as this Dhamma Lila from the lips of a, a pure Vaishnava. What will be the effect of hearing this? So those who have no faith in hearing this Harikata, oh, then they are great offenders. This is a great offense. They are most the lowest of all. So then Srila Gurudev continued how the Falvik Rani was singing and completely absorbed in Krishna Nam. And she sat down and she was chanting, chanting and crying with her heart melting. So at that time, <laughs> Krishna, 
He was inside the house and he was playing in the grain silo. There was a very large stock of wheat there. And Krishna at this time, he was about two and a half years old. So he'd seen how his parents would barter with grains. So he took some grains in his hands, in his very tiny hands, and he came outside. So Falvik Rani, she didn't dare to come inside the compound of the house of Nanda Maharaj. Why? Because she was from, from somewhat lower caste. So she didn't dare to come outside. But Krishna being inside, when he heard her calling, Oh, come and take very sweet and juicy fruits. <laughs> then some water came on his tongue. And he picked up the grains and he went outside and came. And he was standing in front of the fruit cell. And she saw him. How did he look? Oh, very, very sweet. So charming. His mother had tied his hair on his head and put the peacock feather in his hair. And he was decorated nicely and chanted on his body. Very, very uh, uh, enchanting in his appearance. So Krishna came before, before her and was holding out his hands. Oh, please give me fruits, give me fruits. So when she saw him, oh, she was, her heart was completely stolen away by his astonishing beauty. Who is Krishna? He is the essence of all uh, lavanya, all lustre, of all things beautiful, all combined together, the essence of that, that is in Krishna. Krishna is that absolute truth who is established by all of the aphorisms of Vedanta. And he is the hero of all universes. And now he was standing before Vikrani and saying, Give me food, give me food. So when she saw him, oh, she forgot everything. She became almost unconscious seeing him. So she was unconscious and just absorbed in the beauty of Krishna. And Krishna said, Oh, please give me food, give me food. So she came in sense. And she said, Okay, I can give you food, but on one condition. You should sit in my lap and you should call me mother. So then when Krishna heard this, he thought, oh, how can you do this? This is very difficult. It's a very difficult thing for me to do. Because she showed is my mother, how can I call her mother? And she is somewhat lower caste also. So Krishna was afraid anyone might see him. So then Krishna, he was looking left and right to make sure that no one was watching. And quickly, he jumped into the lap of the uh, fruit seller and said, Oh mother, give me fruit. And then immediately he jumped up and then stood in front of her again. Oh, give me fruit, give me fruit. <laughs> so, how fortunate is this fruit seller that Krishna came in, in her lap and called her, Oh mother, Oh mother. So then Krishna, he was looking at the fruits that he particularly wanted and he was pointing out, Oh, you give me this mango and this banana and this one and this one and this one. And so the fruit seller began to, she could not put it in his hands because his hands were so full, small. So holding his arms like this, she began to load up his arms with as many fruits as she could. So then when Krishna's arms were full of fruits, then he look, looked at her with a very crooked side long glance and then he went returning to the house. So then when Krishna came into the house, his mother said, oh, where did you get all these fruits from? And she was taking the fruits and Yashoda Maya, she began herself to personally distribute the fruits to all of Krishna's friends. And many sakas were coming. And it didn't matter how many friends were coming. She was distributing the fruits. They were, they were never finished. There was no shortage. And when they began to taste those fruits, oh, what was the taste like? Undescribable, unprecedented, so sweet. So Maria Yashoda, she distributed these fruits to, to all. And outside, what happened to the fruit seller? Oh, she was sitting there. And Krishna, he had stolen her heart. Because Krishna is a great thief. So one Vaishnav Kavi is written. Praje Prasidham Anapanita Chauram Gopangananam Chadukula Chauram Aneka Janmarita Papa Chauram Chauragraganyam Purasham Namami I give my pranam to the foremost of all thieves. Prajay Prasidam Navanita Choram. He's very famous in Braj as a butter thief. And Gopanga Nahanam Cha Dukul Choram. He's stolen the dukul of the gopis. 
So Dukkha means the, the cause of the gopis. Because we know when the Raja gopis, they were doing Katiyani Brahs. On the last day they took bath in Jamuna and they were left their cloth on the bank of Jamuna. And Krishna came there and stole their Dukkha. Their cloth. But Krishna, but Srila Gurudev here is giving another comment. There's a, there's a further meaning of the word do cool. Do cool means do two cool, two dynasties. Krishna is stealing the gopis hmm, from the dynasty of their father and from the dynasty of their husband, hmm, taking them away. So it's called Gopananam Chadu Kula Churam. So Krishna is a great thief and he's stolen the hearts of the fruit seller. And now she becomes completely mad. Hmm. And the, she was sitting there until the evening. And the evening came, and then when evening came, she took her empty basket and she put it upon her head. And she began moving in the direction of Jamuna, of going towards the Krishna. So as she approached the bank of Jamuna, then she felt that the basket on her head, which was originally empty, was now very heavy. So she's thinking, how did it become so heavy? So she took the basket down from her head and she looked inside. And what was there? Oh, great invaluable wealth. So many jewels, pearls, diamonds. Unimaginable wealth was there in the basket. So what did she give to Krishna? Only a few fruits. And what did Krishna give? Oh, invaluable wealth. But upon seeing this, then she felt that these jewels have no value. Why? Because she was maddened in separation from Krishna. She was feeling very, very high separation from Krishna. So she just took the basket and she threw all the jewels into the river. And she just began chanting, Krishna Nam, absorbed in the and She never returned to Mathura at all. Never returned. Where she went? So she did not return to Mathura. No one can understand where she went. She became mad and wondering in Gopal. Who can say where she went? But we can understand that by Krishna's cause of mercy that she went to Golok Vrindavan. And there, this very day, she is there now, like a mother of Krishna in Vrindavan, and always drinking the nectar of Krishna's beauty. So this is the result of having Krishna's darshan. I've seen Krishna one time. This is the result of hearing Hari Kata. If one will see Krishna once, or hear Hari Kata, that person can never return to their home. Guru said, we come and we have darshan. Or we hear Hari Kata. But what is that darshan? It's quite bogus. Because afterwards we see and then we go home. <laughs> but if one will actually take darshan of Krishna, oh, then he will never leave Vrindavan. So, in this way, Krishna is drowning the inhabitants of Gokul in the pools of ecstasy.
एक कीर्तन कीजिए और फिर भाव के अनुसार में उसकी व्याख्या करते हुए और सब बिल्कुल लोग उनका रिपीटिशन करेंगे कीर्तन दो ही परिक्रमा के लिए ट्रेन टू और वाइफ एंड चिल्ड्रेन बट एनी वन डेज नॉट कॉम टाइम टू बी गो टू बैक गुन टाइम गो टू नेवर सो आई नो दैट यू हैव ऑल अरेंज योर टीकर Thank you. 
হৃদয়টা বিকশিত হয় বন্ধু থাকে আনন্দ থাকে আবার যখন ঘুরে গেমা সংসারের মধ্যে পড়ে যাবে সংসারের বাবা সংসারে ঘূর্ণি পাকে তখন কোথায় সে কি কেবা রক্ষা করে তখন আর ঘুরতে না পাই তুচ্ছ করে বাতিল 
थाउजेंड रुपीज टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रुपीज आई थिंक दैट फर्स्ट डे आर चेंज सो पेपर ऑफ हरी कथा एंड कृपा आई थिंक दैट यू हैव पर रिकवर्ड इन डोंट थिंक दैट वी हैव लिमिटेड सो मच मनी नथिंग यू हैव You cannot pay anything for the activity. So we are all dead to worship. All of us. You do not think that we are dead. All four thousand rupees we have. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So all four hundred are half, and so very good. Very good. Again, you see that. He told one thing. He used to try to remember. He told that if we are in collective way Guru Vaishnav all are here, and we are all starting this path. Here, so high class of all food and speed all speed must and so. If anyone thinks that oh nothing to gain in this collective way, I should chant one lakh name separately, and I should do parikrama of Govardhan. Why? Gandhi. Gandhi was the first time one like this. In in how many days? And I will play with Bhav for this. हम लोग प्रतिक्रिया करके नियम अनुसार से ये करेंगे किंतु अकेले कर रहा है और हम लोग एक कलेक्टिव रूप में ये कर रहे हैं कोटि कोटि जन्मों में अकेला करके कुछ नहीं कर सकता क्या लाख हो कर इसका उदाहरण हम दिख दिख रहा है एट द टाइम ऑफ ऑफ टू डे और गॉड यौंग And we used to do parikrama with our guru. Here it is, very fast, very fast. And taking prasad, I do not take prasad. He saw that oh, they are not doing actually niyam shiva. They are taking rice, dal, chapati, and some day festival of oh, sweet rice and. <coughs> And they don't stop. Oh, I should go alone. Who Govardhan went to there? Alone. And he used to chant one lakh Harinam Devi and do parikrama with how? Dharmati parikrama. He used. To. He neglected Guru Maharaj and all this society. <coughs> And he used to stop only taking something very little. After that, he thought, "Thought that I am successful in this. My doing this is successful. They are doing nothing. Oh, good! He also not falling. The principal from all this. What happened? What happened? Oh, they got. जैसे ये ठीक नहीं है भिक्षा मांगे ठीक नहीं हम रिक्शा चलाएंगे पहले ही किंतु तो अपने जीवन उपार्जन करके हर नाम करेंगे और गोवर्धन की परिक्रमा करेंगे और भजन करेंगे और एक लाख करेंगे मेंटेन माई सेल्फ Not begging and not like this. So he bought a rickshaw and he began to pull it here and there, chanting them. But his name was reduced. After some time, a desire to marry came, but he was black, no money. Say black peace, lady. 
Christ married. <laughs> and he pulled so much reksha and collected some money and gave to her. Teeth was like this. Very ugly. He offered himself in that lady lotus thing. <laughs> and then went, left Vrindavan. Vrindavan left. And then he began to take peace, eggs and everything. And name was then, totally. And where is Govardhan Parikrama, where is one life and where is all the things? So you should try to realize all these things. Vaishnava ka sangha chora karke, aur guru ka sangha chora karke, hari naam karenge aur niyam seva karenge, unka pal bhi mai saai ko ka. Aisa dhu ho samjho. Isle Vaishnava ke sangha me suno. Aur upar mein baih karke suno. I will sit there. Not in counting of Vaishnava, in the eyes of Vaishnava, I will be upside. <laughs> this will ruin them. So try to realize this fact and come here in the front of Vaishnava, in the eyes, in there. Be operated, they will operate all these things back. They have done so many things. I go take one thing. Very easy. So try to realize all this thing. Be remain situated in the association of Vaishnava. Don't be alone and try to chant and to, to take Niyam Seva alone. It will, it can save you. Never, never and never. Yaki Raksha nahi kar sakta. Jain yaan te jain ke, kuch din kare ke, aur phir vahin chala. Sehi bhaga. इधर बैठो के इसके समय खाओ पियो कल तक खाओ और क्या करो आकर तो प्रसाद सेवा करिया बैठो के खाओ पियो और भगवान का भजन करो समीत रूप में इसकी प्रक्रिया है यहाँ पर गुरु बैठे बैठा है बैठो बैठे हैं और उसको चढ़कर के अकेले में नियम सेवा करेंगे भाई इसे प्राप्त है Try to realize all these things. Try to be in the eyes of Vaishnava. They can say. Otherwise, we cannot say it all. Go, Brahma. In the act at, at 11 or 10, you should go on the house of Mahesh and Naveen and all other